Oh, good morning. I'm in the van now, and uh, the furnace has been broken since like since we first got back from the trip, and we were in Toronto. I left the furnace on, and it ran out of propane, and I haven't had the furnace or the water heater working since. Now I don't know if I did some damage while I was tearing out the back there, the sink, because the water heater is there, if I did damage there and that's what broke it, or if it was running out of the propane that broke it, but it hasn't been running since, which is fine over the summer, but whew, it's getting a little cold, and I wish I had my furnace right about now. I'm thinking of actually getting a Mr. Buddy heater just to, <laughs> just to hold tight until I get it fixed. Um, I'm trying to do it myself. I figure an RV mechanic's probably gonna know just about as much as I do, and RV mechanics are pretty hard to find anyways in the first place, so um, it's just a matter of tracking down wiring. I'm just gonna, not getting power to the switches. So I figure the way it goes is it goes battery, breakers, switches, then device. So there's no power at the device, and there's no power at the switches, but there is power at the breakers. And the breakers, all the fuses are fine, everything's fine. So there's somewhere right after the breakers, there's or right before the switches, there's um, an interruption in the connection. Um, maybe there's some sort of sensor that tripped, that hasn't tripped back, that is stopping the power from getting there. Maybe there's something in between there that I don't know about. I don't know. I'll have to do some more research. I'll have to figure it out. But by the time this video posts, this, hopefully I'll have it figured out. Um, this morning I've got a couple shoots. Um, I think I'm gonna actually go meet up with my sister at her place because it's warm and she has champ and I'm gonna make her coffee and breakfast. You know, once I'm in bed and everything, it's great because I have like the big wool socks, the tooth, the scarf, I wear my sweater to bed and get under like three blankets. I wake up in the morning and it's so toasty in there and then like stick one toe out from the edge and oh! so cold <laughs> you know i don't want it to be like balmy in the van i'm gonna be working a lot on insulation though um, because part of the reason it condensated so much on the roof there is because the insulation is really bad up there so i've got a couple fixes i'm not gonna do that this episode but coming very soon i'm gonna be doing videos on like how i'm going to cheaply and efficiently insulate my vehicle without having to tear it completely apart hopefully <laughs> Quiet. It's the first thing in the morning. You can't be so loud. So I've come here, I'm gonna meet up with Matt and Danielle, but they're not gonna be here for probably like an hour. So uh, I've got some work to do. I've got a lot of work to do in this van. There's a lot of broken things. One of them is my windows and my blower motor on my furnace, on the, like, not the furnace furnace, but like the, you know, the heater on the van are both broken. And this has happened before. I don't know if you remember this, but I had to like keep tapping my um, ignition box, the starter switch. It's called the starter switch, I think. Anyway, my lock column for my key goes into it and then it's like a big switch. Here, let me show you. Here it is, I ordered the part. I, I broke this last time, so I already knew what it was. But as soon as it started going out, I was like, of course. Um, Cause I feel like I've replaced every electronic component on this van twice. So um, I hadn't done this one twice yet. So here it is, my second one. I don't know what it is about 90s and Chrysler, man, but they had like a really rudimentary idea of what electricity was. God, it's frustrating. Anyway, so this thing just, this van just chews through electronics like crazy. And I, I've checked what it could be. Honestly, it's just too much cocaine in the 90s, man. Too much cocaine, Chrysler. You, you, you party too hard. You did not design enough. These parts are just garbage. And um, even if I get like aftermarket, whatever, it's still like, eh.
seats on. Uh, the car won't start. Uh, all right, back at the drawing board. All right. Let's see what we got this time. Rotation works great. All right, let's put the rest of it together and get this party started. Just gonna bask in this heat for a while. Oh, yes. All right, that's it. New switch. Heat and windows are working again. Man, that feels good. Feels good to have that running again. I can be here any minute. Maybe I'll tidy the space up, you know? Introduce people to the house. You gotta make sure it's nice and clean. Not for you guys, though. You guys get to see how sloppy I am. Very small, but like it is like a... Gotta... Alright, we're gonna go for a little bit of a hike. Hang out with these cool cats. They're like big celebrities. Very private, though. So I'll try to give you a little inside scoop on who they really are. the lot to ourselves. These guys were telling me they're in the same shoes I am right now where I'm like 35 videos behind, 40 videos behind, how many are you behind? 36. 36 <laughs> videos behind. This is not unique. Uh, sorry to burst your perfect little YouTube bubble. I didn't post the video I did that day. I'm not Casey Neistat. I'm very sorry. Um, and the reality is uh, if you travel full time, you have zero control over your life and it's unscheduled, unorganized and you almost know and never have time. If, if it's a good travel, if it was a good trip, I don't have time to edit, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm back at the van now, I'm having a very terrible trip and I'm gonna have plenty of time to edit. And then I'll head, uh, I'll head south very soon. It's good to see you guys again. It's good, yeah, good to see, see you, see you too, man. Glad got the Follow these two, although you probably already are, let's be honest, they're 150,000 subscribers now? Something almost, like that, yeah. yeah. Almost? So you guys are totally over that. Last time I saw them, I think you had 15,000. I think so. This yeah, time yeah, last year. Too. I yeah. saw you a year ago and you had 15,000, now you have 150. Was it yeah, only a year yeah. ago? Doesn't it feel like longer? Feels like ages. Just two years. Lifetime. Feels like ages. I'm like, I feel like you guys should both be a bit taller. <laughs> <laughs> You're growing older, you know? Yeah. Right. yeah, I don't like when when I hang out with you, I don't like the heights thing. Because <laughs> as you can see, he's taller. And this is very unusual for me because I'm tall and he's freakishly tall. Everyone says that when they meet me in person that they like uh, weren't anticipating me Actually, being quite as gigantic. Slant. Oh, sorry, let me just get down here. Perfect. Ah, that's, that's more like it. <laughs> uh, it's so nice hanging out with other YouTubers. I don't want to sound like a huge snob or anything, but when you, it's kind of like, you do something, right? That's very particular. Not a lot of other people do it. When you meet with somebody else who does your very particular little thing, it's really nice because you can talk shop with them. You can talk about like things that just are so out of everyone else's experience that are just very unique to what you're doing. So. I love hanging out. Plus, those guys are really nice. They're really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to make some dinner. I meet up with some friends. I don't have a plan for tonight. I got a lot of, like, editing work to do, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, motherfucker! <laughs>